honestly, the best thing to do is just call her Ram. It takes all the hard work out of it. By the way, uh, how's it going, guys? Thanks for the warm reception. Usually, uh, it's, it's uh, not this full when I start, so <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Uh, but I guess you guys aren't here just to listen to the hype Space Shark opening theme song number one, featuring the Lupin Ranger Henshin theme. You're probably here for some Pokemon. And I've got a text message. Okay, it's just Skullgirls. I didn't get a text message from Skullgirls, rather. Skullgirls wants me to do something. So, uh, interesting news. Uh, we are going to be taking a pause from Pokemon Yellow. Uh, starting next week, when new Pokemon Snap comes out. I figure it'll be a fun time just to get through Pokemon Snap and then go back to Pokemon Yellow. Lucky man getting texts from Skullgirls. Yeah, baby. Little do you know, I have to text Parasol every day, otherwise uh, Skullgirls gets cancelled and defunded. Um. Bulbasaur. Use cut. It's super effective. Booted up cross-tag battle for the Switch, so getting used to the controls. Ah, I hope you enjoy it. Cross-tag battle is like a super ambitious crossover, so I'm sure you'll get something that you'll like. Buddy, I'm Canadian. You're not allowed to say A. Not to me. I don't play much traditional fighting games, but the fundamentals are usually the same. Yeah, kinda. Uh... At least across Axis games. I don't think I can deal with... Gonna have to switch to my Sand Slash. And yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed Pokemon Snap when I was younger. Probably because it was my first Pokemon game that I owned, instead of having to borrow from friends. Sure, let's use Body Slam. Damn Sand Slash! That's a little less good, though. Friends showed you had to do overlays for PS4, now you have your own starting soon screen, Dark Souls 3 overlay. That's fantastic! I'll be honest, when I was streaming from uh, PlayStation, I could not figure out overlays, so I got a capture card, like, super quick. No, I don't think I have anything that can take out Onyx. Specific. Well, actually, if Nidorina believes hard enough, then maybe. <laughs> it's an extension for Twitch itself? Okay, that makes sense. I'll be honest, I didn't put as much effort into it as I should have. I figured it out with uh, Streamlabs, though. All I had to do was make an overlay and then put it in Streamlabs. Uh,. For the uh, Pro Controller, keep hitting the home button when you want the plus. It's annoying. Yeah, all over again. Ah, oh. That's unfortunate. I personally need to get a Pro Controller, though, for Monster Hunter. The, uh, the Joy-Cons work, but, like, my hands get cramped really quickly. The most first world of first world problems. Still trying to get that reality break combo? Yeah, I mean, with fighting games, you just have to sort of keep trying. Go to the lab and just figure things out. Screen grab in the memes, shall? Yeah, I want to check that out. Ooh, that's really nice. I really appreciate the, uh... Sorry, there we go. I really appreciate the overlays that let you see more of the game. I want to have room for other options, like maybe showing who's featured on the show right now, or stuff like that. 
So I made mine a little bit more cramped, but... Most of the time you get it by accident, not when you want to. Just wonder if you're doing the D-pad wrong. Yeah. Fight, fighting game combos are hard. It it took me forever to figure out the, the fucking fireball in Street Fighter. Like, the, the Hadouken. My main in Street Fighter is Ibuki. Uh, and she has... Like, it, it's a move where she goes and, like, snaps the car at, like, the enemy's neck. And it's sort of like a, uh... Left, down, right kind of deal. But the way that it's shown in the input, like, it, it shows the full carry for the, uh, controller, so... The Bulbasaur is a gift tool, it's the black and white sprite. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I should throw, like, a, a War Turtle sprite during the Pokémon streams. Since War Turtle is, in fact, the boy. By the way, we're not evolving War Turtle into a Blastoise. I forbid it. Imagine not button mashing and actually learning combos in fighting games, right? It's like it wants you to go on the deep pad down, southeast, then right, along with B and C. That sounds about right. It's a weird way of doing it, though. Because that's, uh, that's the fireball, so... Down diagonal right, and then button. Oh, snap, you found, uh, Old School War Turtle for me. Yo! There's the boy! You know what, Marcus? If you find me a War Turtle gif, I will throw it on during the stream. Oh my god, he's shaking his stuff. Okay, give me a sec. Alright, gotta open Discord. Go into... There. Unable to save image preview. That's fine. I can just open the original. Alright, let's throw it in... I don't know. Let's throw it in my pictures. It's a picture. Then we go... You just can't go down and right, or just press the southeast area. Yeah, it's sort of like a... Uh, let's see if I can show it on camera. Uh, it, it's sort of like a, a that kind of situation. Well, I, I guess since it's reversed, a that kind of situation. So on the D-pad, you're going to want to, like, uh, go like that. Like, just slap your... Sloppily go from down to right while keeping the button pressed. You're gonna want to glide on the D-pad, I guess is what I'm saying. Um... Add... Image... Where are you? Oh god, everything's so small. This is my curse from having a 4K screen. Alright, so there's War Turtle. He gets to hang out. Let's put him... Ah, oh, 
can I flip it? It's not letting me flip it. So let's, uh, let's let him hang out. Right in the corner right there. He'll be a friend. Thanks, Marcus. War Turtle is the new chat mod. Okay, well, I can't fight with Squirtle just yet, because he is... He is a squishy boy. Oh, I think we're getting visited by, uh... SSR 5-star gold rank cat. Uh, when it comes to Kanto starters... Whoops. I accidentally used Growl. Uh, Bulbasaur, War Turtle, and Charizard are your favorite forms for each. Mm-hmm. I kind of like Ivysaur, because uh, he's like an angrier Bulbasaur. But that's just me. Poliwrath used to be one of my favorite Pokemon, but uh, my tastes changed. I think it's because, like, back in, like, I think it was 1998 when you saw the previews for the Pokemon stuff, Poliwrath kind of looked like he could kick your shit in. Well, I guess punch your face in, but you get the idea. Got an off-brand Switch Pro controller, so it doesn't look like you have an NFC touchpoint. Oof. Alright, let's get our boy some more experience so that he grows into the guy in the corner. You gotta hang out at the front and pretend to fight these guys. Okay, Squirtle? You were delinquent back in Vermilion City, so I'm sure you can handle them, but later. And yeah, War Turtle's the new mod. Charmeleon, don't don't do it. Thank you. Now just uh don't hit yourself, but again. No problem with Blastoise, and he would be good for getting around on waves, but you like your water turtle to be grown up but still hung uh, huggable? Exactly! Plus, like, you know that War Turtle's good at fighting because he has war in his name. And also, like, if you take a look at the sprite on the screen, he's got, like, the little blush lines, so if he's, like, he's the Tsundere evolution. Polyrath and Primeape, your Bash Bros? Oh, yeah. Pokemon Gen 1 had a lot more Pokemon that looked like they could just take you into an alleyway and beat you up. When this, when later, I, I guess, additions popped up, it was, a, it was a lot less of that. Oh, oh, we get the boy! We get the boy! There he is! Oh, I'm not dissing any generation justifies. I'm just saying that the design, I guess, expectations changed. It, it's sort of like, right now, if I want a tough-looking collectible monster, I'm gonna go with Digimon. But if I want, like, cuter stuff and, like, friends, I guess, I'll go with Pokemon. War Turtle, I'm sure you can tackle this. Ha, <laughs> get it? Because he, he's got ta- Oh man, that, that Hyper Fang really hurt. Okay. Uh, when Fire Red and Leaf Green first came out when you were a kid, you loved Charizard and thought that the Bulba line was dumb. But for the past 10 years, it's been Bulbasaur? Yeah, taste change. I used to always pick the Water Starter without fail. Okay, hold up. Poor Turtle, please live.
Ten years ago, you were 14? God. Ten years ago, I was like... 17. Just like people complaining about the new gen Pokemon being lazy. When in Gen 1 you literally had a Pokeball, a pile of shit, and a magnet. Ne need I bring up the uh, the Mankey back sprite? Which is, as the name suggests, Mankey as fuck. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of boys. Oh, that's a lot of boys. <laughs> All right, War Turtle, you are going to face a gauntlet, but I believe in you. People are so obsessed with Gen One era designs. Besides showing how Mankey looks from the back, not even Sugimori draws it the same way anymore. Exactly. No, again, like the sensibilities for designs changed. Oh God damn it! His arts evolved in the last twenty plus years. Yep. Well, and I think, uh, what's his name? James Turner. Uh, he's, like, one of the leads on character design for Pokemon now. So, of course, everything's gonna look a lot different. Gonna chug, uh... Actually, I can just use a regular potion, can't I? He'll be fine. Mankey was janky. The ultimate disc has been found! Start picking Bulba because speedrunners pick Bulbasaur? He's just so heckin' cute. Exactly. Like, so I don't like Funko Pops. Just not my thing. I don't think that most of them look good. They look like... If this were Toy Story, Funko Pops would be the ones that are, like, slightly off and will stab you in your sleep. But... Two of them, uh, the Bulbasaur one and the Vulpix ones, uh, look perfect to me. Like, they look like really cute representations of what they're supposed to be. Now let's bring out Sand Slash. Grounds me into poison, right? Started picks through the generations. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that myself. Justifies went with Charmander, Chikorita, Mudkip, Chimchar, Slash, Trotwig, Oshawott, Froki, Litten, and Sobble. Uh, Marcus, Bulbasaur, Totodile, Mudkip, Turtwig, Oshawott, Froki, Litten, Sobble. Okay. I went with, uh... Squirtle, Totodile, Mudkip, uh... Piplup, Oshawott. Then I went with, a uh, Fennekin, Rowlet, and, uh, Score Bunny. So I was Water Starters all the way up to, like, Gen 5. When Pokemon stopped being 2D is when I thought, eh, I probably shouldn't pick a Water Starter. Alright, my, my Sandy Boy is gonna be the Supreme one. You do like how the final forms, they had a mage, a tank, and a thief? Yeah! No, it, it did feel like in uh, X and Y they were taking inspiration from classic RPGs, just in general. You have an Agumon Funko Pop? That one sounds like it would be okay. You're too poor for Funko Pops? Ugh. I couldn't even dream about collecting them. I, I have co-workers at the toy store I'm part-time at that just like... What can we find here? Uh, that collect them, and it's like, they have thousand dollar collections, and I can't wrap my brain around that. Aw. Oh, I already have a better one of you. So sorry for your loss. Oshawa is cool because he has shell blades, and Samurai just has twin blades. Yeah! I just, uh, I lament the fact that... Oshawott just had to become quadrupedal after that. 
Our friend lost their manual dexterity in its search for power. Infernape and Embor were both based on characters from Journey to the West, which is why they're both firefighting. Okay. I always thought that the fire type Pokemon had a Zodiac thing going around. So uh, that makes sense. Absolutely. Probably should save and then heal. Black Morphin Ranger, Captain America, Daredevil, Nightwing. Okay. Oh yeah, no, Infernape is absolutely Sun Wukong. And then, you know, Embor is, uh, Pigsy. So it stands to reason, then, that shouldn't we get, like, a... Now I'm blanking. What? It was a dragon that turned into a horse, right? I'm completely blanking on it. Glad that Incineroar was fire dark. Yeah, I want more dark type representation. Sandal is a friend. And he needs more friends. I'll be honest, when uh, when I played through the Isle of Armor DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, I took the, uh, the dark path because I wanted, like, I wanted my Urshifu to learn the Satsui no Hada. Dark is so weak. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, to be honest, I don't play Pokemon in any sort of competitive fashion. I play Pokemon and I'm like, hey, this dragon looks like I could hug it. Now we're gonna keep Wartortle. See how he does. And yeah, Incineroar loves to play the heal. Honestly, Incineroar just also loves to ham it up. I, I love that persona. What I don't love is our boy getting his ass kicked. So we're gonna swap out to Sand Slash. Movies aren't canon? Are you saying Pokemon Heroes, the one where Latias falls in love with Ash, is not canon? Are you saying Latios died for nothing? We talk about that because that was like... That was like the first permanent on-screen death in the Pokemon movie, wasn't it? Like, like that's the first time that a Pokemon died on-screen didn't come back, right? Well, I guess it's time for a war turtle to come back out. Godspeed, buddy. You two is can okay. Yeah, wasn't you two like locked up in crazy armor by Giovanni, and that's what was canon? Holy shit, war turtle! Good job. Had Latios and Darkrai? Oh boy. To be fair, yeah, he fucking cheated. If you're doing the solo Elite Four challenge, then that's one thing. But if you're gonna be that much of a dick and bring legendaries to like a... Like a match against other trainers, that ain't cool. Makes you a big swinging dick. 
There's a PokeTuber called Lumwa Trainer Zack who made a video on which movies were canon from the uh, from the series mentions. Okay. Oh man, I cannot use our boy against Magnemite. Also, I should probably catch a Magnemite. It's level 20 already, so... Sandslash! I love you, you're a friend! But I wanted to catch that! Oof. Alright, I need that and Sand Slash heal. Oh man. So no Ash got so strong and confident that they need two legendaries to take him down. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I didn't watch the Sinnoh stuff, so... Anything fun in here? There we go. It's not level 20. But I think we can manage. Damn, you're completely right, Justifies. He sounds like he was just weirdly competent for the Sinnoh stuff. Alright, let's see if we can catch our boys, uh, Magnemite. Nope. Round two? There we go. Now he's gonna live in the box. Forever and ever. Rest in peace. It is born with the ability to defy gravity. It floats in the air on powerful electromagnetic uh, waves. I, uh, I almost fucked that up and said electromagnetic waves. <laughs> like... Yeah, they're, they're just like... They're not pink waves, they're, they're magenta waves. They're electric magenta waves. Here's the Pokemon Center. Didn't even need to heal anyone. They made him huff paint in between Sinnoh and Unova because best wishes Ash is dumb. Oh boy. Uh, what about the anime pisses you off? It's number one complaint about Hoenn. Goddamn Thunder Armor. Is just that. Is it just that Pikachu can beat everyone? You can you can be immune to lightning, but you're not immune to Pikachu. Good for you, buddy. Good for you for selling your nugget. Alright, you probably want to fight me, right? Alright, so you've been to a, a gym a few times, and you've lost every time. Good on ya. Yo, Martianator! How's it going? Glad to see you, dude. Did I buy the Magikarp? Yeah, I think Magikarp's hanging out in a box somewhere. It was only five bucks, so whatever. Alright, War Turtle, just uh, keep spitting that Jigglypuff. I'm sure you'll get it. 
Yeah, it has been a while. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm, uh... I got two streams going today. Gonna be playing some Demon Souls with my DM later today. For the second stream. It's gonna be great. Plus, uh... We're gonna be playing some new Pokemon Snap next week. So that's gonna be... That's gonna be a real treat. I beat Pokemon Snap on stream... Uh, for the Saturday Rewind at some point. Uh, I, th I think I was doing, like, uh, just a full play of Pokemon Snap, and that's where it went. I also did, a. Uh... So, I had to fill time with one of the games, because I was going to play Pokemon Puzzle League for the entire stream. And I beat it too quickly. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, well, let's do, uh... Let's do all the mini-games from Pokemon Stadium as well. It was a good time. How you doing? Some Pokemaniacs prowling around. Can I buy a Switch soon? Ready for the Diamond Pearl remake? Aw oh, man, I'm so hyped for that. I don't think I know Flash. Uh-oh. Um. This might be a problem. But yeah, like, some people aren't really into the, uh, aesthetic of it, where they just took the sprites and then turned them into, uh, 3D models. Like, like, the overworld sp uh, sprites, I mean. But I love that! I think it's really cute. I never thought that we would go in with, like, a, a Sword and Shield-style Diamond and Pearl remake. I always thought that would be, you know, just a straight remake. So... Probably play one of them, but they. You still don't like the overworld sprites, and you don't see why they didn't stick to Let's Go? Okay. And yeah, uh. They're coming out later this year. I think I'm gonna play, uh. Sh Shining Pearl on the stream, so. And I completely agree with you, Marginator. Black and White is, like, I wanna say. On, like, my top three for Pokemon games. I think my top three Pokemon games would be Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Black... Sorry. No, Pokemon White is the one that I got. But whatever. Uh, and then the third one's hard to pick. I almost want to give it to Sun and Moon just because, like... I've been on a kick. Okay, this is going to be a problem without Flash. Uh, hey Google, where do you get Flash in Pokemon Yellow? So I guess we have to go back to Diglett Cave. Rest in peace. Let's uh let's go on our journey. And we're also gonna kick her ass, I guess. title remakes you want sequels uh, I guess I don't see anything wrong with remaking a game that's come out like more than 10 years ago because you know having a nice new coat of paint on it isn't the worst thing that you can do 
But I would like sequels set in the same regions. I, I think that would be a better use of time. But, of course, you know, they're cash cows. Everyone wants to re uh, replay a game that maybe they sold or they lent to a friend or just don't have anymore. Yeah, I think uh, Legends looks really, really cool. I'm, I'm really excited for that. And at least to see how the gameplay is just different. Unova and Alola are tied for you? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people didn't like Alola when it came out. And maybe that's just really vocal people instead of, like, a lot, but... There was still a lot of discourse about how Sun and Moon weren't great at the time, but I liked them. It was basically a child-friendly version of Kill la Kill. Moon version made you cry at the end? Yeah. Uh, black and white, X and Y, then red, yellow, blue? Okay. DS needs to be fixed, the games don't lock in. Oh, that's gross. I've got two 3DSs. I've got the, uh, the new 3DS XL, uh, and then a Japanese new 3DS with the Monster Hunter, uh, skin, I guess. Faceplates? Faceplates, that's what they are. And because of that, I got uh, one of the Common Rider games that also came with uh, Mighty Action X. And if you guys aren't up in your Common Rider lore, uh, Mighty Action X is a fictional video game from uh, one of the seasons X Aid, where like the whole premise is that they're doctors who fight monsters and disease using video games. I mean, I'll always say check out Kamen Rider, but x was a really good season. Okay, so I need to go to Diglett Cave. I think that's down here, right? And I think I screwed that up. Okay. Let's loop back around. Loved Ultra Sun, so you're disappointed that I didn't... Now uh, that I get so much hate? Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed Ultra Moon. I especially thought that the, uh, the gliding through Ultra Space minigame was, you know, it was a blast. Being able to, like, go to the dens of Pokemon having a higher shiny catch rate. It was a good time. Pokemon fanbase can never be satisfied. Well, the same can be said of literally any fan base. I, I think we've established the fact that uh, no one hates X more than X fans. Where the hell is the Dicklet Cave? I have a map here. Maybe I should use it. Palatan, Route 1, Viridian City, Route 2, Viridian Forest. Diglett Cave is over by Pewter City. Was it by Vermilion City? I think Diglett Cave was over by Vermilion City. Games that need sequels? Pokemon Conquest, Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Ranger got a bunch of sequels, so I'd, I'd agree with you with Pokemon Conquest first. I can see why it didn't pan out very well here, but it was a good game nonetheless. Pokemon is like a reverse Persona. For Persona, at least since 4, people love it to death and love the spin-offs, but when a new one comes out, they're like, oh, that sucked. Uh, 
Uh, or their friend used the Master Ball. Whoops. On the Magic Carp, and their friend deleted their game and flushed it down the toilet. Oh boy. Um, you got the new 3DS XL? Yeah. I think that's the most popular one. Because it's got the bigger screen, it has a less likely chance of scratching the top screen. It's good. Plus, it's got the camera nub, which is like... I do have... Hold up, I have to check my Pokedex. I need to catch ten more Pokemon, I think. I don't think it counts... Just seeing. Fuck. We may be trying the, uh... The rock cave without... Sorry, the rock tunnel without Flash. Didn't think they'd get permission to use official consoles of the games that were depicted as 8-bits. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, let's catch Jiglet. Why not? They wouldn't turn the Super Sentai series into poor Americanized stories? Eh, yeah, I mean... I've always been of the mind that if you're going to change it, make your own series that takes place around the same time as the original series. Whoops, I don't want to nickname Diglett. I'm not even going to use him. So I guess as an example, like, if you want to make... I don't know. What was a recent season? Let's say they want to make a Tokyuger version for uh, Power Rangers. I prefer that they just, like, get their own Rangers and, like, say, oh, some Rainbow Line shit's been happening in, uh, in Japan. That's crazy. Uh, by the way, it's happening here now, too. Here's a new story set in the same sort of specifications. That's what I'd want. Don't hate Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but think they shouldn't... Uh, should only be played after Sun and Moon and not on their own. I kind of, I kind of get where you're coming from there. Cause Ult Ultra Sun and Moon, the story deviated enough where I, I feel like they're two different experiences. They may be similar games, but the experiences are pretty different. How instead of a team of grumps, it was a small group of four to five members. Mm-hmm. I kind of like the way that they're going, where, like, the evil organization isn't necessarily the one that looks the most evil, you know? Like, with uh, Sun and Moon, Team Skull were just, like, a bunch of delinquents. They're, they're the guys who would, like, stick a banana in your tailpipe and then giggle. But, uh, like, the Ether Foundation were the ones that were, like, you know, they were... They were nice to you, and then also they were seeking to be nasty. It was it was a good time. I also really appreciate how, uh... So, in Pokemon Masters, it takes place after its series, right? And because of that, like, you get some extra little closure for whatever's happening. Oh, I'm gonna need to heal. Like, you get to see Lusamine try to be a better mom. Also, I'm, I'm really glad that I pulled Lusamine. In Pokemon Masters. Holy shit! Holy shit! Diglett! You're making me use my last super potion, buddy. Again! <laughs> oh, God. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna have to scroll up to get more comments. It 
Sentai version of Dino Charge, they had one of the Dino Thunder Sentai show up, but they haven't had Power Ranger crossovers in a long time. Uh, with Gen 7, Gen 8, you think Game Freak is trying to phase out teams? I can see that. Okay, please survive. Thank you, Wartortle. I'm out of potions, and that would have really fucked me over. Power Rangers from the beginning was doing its own thing with the footage. Never sought out to be an adaptation. Mm hmm. I, I guess more along the lines of what I was saying about Power Rangers is that I want them to connect to the Super Sentai versions a bit more. At, at the very least, like, acknowledge them. Oh, War Turtle, I'm so sorry. This, this Diglett has graced you with the ability to live a little bit longer, so we're going to take him up on that. Sand Slash, do your thing. Punch it in the face. Body slam it, whatever. And yeah, the teams are starting to get silly. I like the idea of either going full out on the, uh... On, like, the Pokemon challenge side of things. Or going full out on the world destructive boss kind of things. I find that when that you try to put emphasis on both of them, they tend to get dragged down. That's why I really liked what they were doing in uh, Sun and Moon up until... Sorry, not Sun and Moon. Uh, Sword and Shield up until, like, the end where you fight Eternatus. Like, it, it made the Pokemon challenge feel really important in-universe. Uh, I got hyped doing gyms for the first time in forever. And, like, Team Yell was just like... <laughs> they, they were just Marnie stands. It was great. And then the whole thing with Chairman Rose happened, it's like, oh, well, this kind of slows things down a bit. Like how Lusamine's character changed, or how Loli just automatically had Pokemon. You like the ending with her setting sail? Mm-hmm. No, ho, ho, I do not. Alright, I was told that one of you guys had Flash. Maybe it's down here? Rocket, the OGs. It was fine Rocket again. I guess it's cool to beat them again. Aqua, come on, they should have been smart and known how much water would kill humans. Magma, same thing, too much land would not be beneficial. Galactic, my life sucks, so I'm gonna rewrite the world to how I think it's perfect. Plasma's Pokemon, Pita, Flare. Flare's goal. Team Flare wanted to commit mass genocide. Ex and, and they charged people to, like, sit out the genocide. It was- it was crazy. I loved it. I- I loved how stupid it is, I- I will say. I- I don't love it from, like... No? Yes, I have. What's on HM5? Oh, thank god! Okay, we're gonna go to Rock Tunnel. Now that we have Flash. But yeah, like, Team Flare was basically like an MLM where the product that you buy is, uh, not dying. Ooh, another Moonstone. I'm pretty sure this is just like Viridian City to Pal- uh, sorry, to Pewter City. Though I'm probably going to have to pop by the Pokemon Center. Uh, Aether, protect Pokemon at any cost. Skull, screw the rules, we just want to be us. Exactly. I actually found out that Team Skull is basically descendants from a tribe of people who went against the Tapu, but were defeated and shunned. Oof. I did not know that. Another major Red Ranger episode again? Oh, like a, a new Forever Red? That would be uh, kind of neat. 
I want them to acknowledge the 2017 Power Rangers movie, though. I've, I've brought that up enough. I'm not going to beat it into you guys again, but, like... Oh, I don't want to be in Viridian Forest. But yeah, it was just, it was a good time. Rose was an idiot? Absolutely. He was the least memorable villain in Pokemon for me. His whole thing was like, I, I run this place. Oh, by the way, I'm evil now. Pokemon nearly dis uh, destroyed Galar hundreds of years ago. Let's use it to try power Galar. Exactly. Rose was big dumb. Alright, let's get some Pokeballs. I got like 275 bucks, it's fine. Actually, let's get some super potions as well. And one escape rope might also be beneficial. Um Team Yell as well as Marnie are from a disenfranchised town. Yeah! Like they, they don't have the ability to Dynamax in that town, so they're like kinda not really relevant in terms of like the grand scheme of the Pokemon Championship. Its power is what was creating Dyna and Gigamax. Sorry, Gigantamax. Rose was not an idiot. He was a genius. It's just that he should have known it was a bad idea. Like, I get it. But still, when you. No, the Pokemon is literally called the Darkest Dead. Yeah. His ambitions were too great. His hubris took over. Sometimes the smartest people can be... can just not have any oversight. Alright, is there like a branch that I can cut so I can skip? I would prefer not to go through Mount Moon, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna go down the Diglett Cave. I'm gonna pick up my good old bicycle. game is in need of a remake, it would be X and Y, but just one game, not the Z version everyone wants, but just, sorry, one where things were evened out. Yeah, honestly, I think that we just need new games set in X and Y's universe. Like, not even the same characters. I could even do without them. Like, who honestly remembers Tierno from uh, from X and Y? Or any of the other friends beside, uh, besides Serena? They just don't exist. Meanwhile, like, Chad Pokemon Black and White, you got, like, Charon, and you got Bianca, and, like, they're still memorable. <laughs> Abomination, you won't hear otherwise. Raihan wasn't pure dragon type, and I called hacks. I think that uh, it would be a really fun idea to do a, uh, a non linear Pokemon game. Because you have to think about the fact that, like, I'll use this game as an example. If you live in Celadon City, you're not going to go over to Pewter City just to get your first badge. So these 
these trainers have got to have, like, separate sets of Pokémon to use on different level trainers. So a Pokémon game where you could pick your starting point, and then challenge gyms in whatever order you feel like, and then they naturally progress because, hey, you know, you have level 50 Pokémon now, I guess I should use my set for higher level trainers. Leon's team is stacked against Raihans? Yeah. Can you honestly name one gym leader in X and Y and what type they were? I remember that there was a cute kimono girl with weird gross fairy eyes. Uh, oh wait, I remember Clement, because they used him in advertising a lot. Wait, what am I fighting? Oh, Weedle. Uh, in Sword, you spent the longest time trying to run to a Sizzlipede for an hour. Got it. You do Kabu's Gym, where the challenge is catching Pokemon, there was a Sizzlipede. Oh no, I'm so sorry for your loss, buddy. Another thing that I really enjoy is having different gyms for the different games. Like, it feels like I'm getting a bigger difference out of the game choice than just the Pokemon that are in it. And I know that the gym layouts are pretty much the same, but like, to have a different challenge than my friends is kind of neat. Several games, the gym leaders have several teams meant for differently skilled challengers. Mm-hmm. Valerie was the fairy type, Wolfric was ice. Mm-hmm. And I think he may have been from the Elite Four, but wasn't there a guy named Wickstrom that was the steel type, uh, fella? Oh, got a message on Discord. Martianator! Thankfully, your, uh... There we go. Your Discord tag is the same as your Twitch tag, so I don't need you to post in the server access thing. Welcome to the Discord, buddy! Hope you enjoy yourself. Well, and then of course you got Diantha as the uh, champion. I only know that, though, because I got her in Pokemon Masters. Which I gotta say, in terms of Pokemon Mobile games, Pokemon Masters is really up there for me. I really appreciate how they focus on the trainers, as opposed to the Pokemon. Like, th there's this whole world of Pokemon that you can get into with people living their lives in relation to these, like, fantastical beings. And all you get is like, ah, oh, this, this Ditto can turn into a Bulbasaur, but it's got a dope face. Like, I, I really appreciate when they go into, like, the day-to-day -day lives of the characters. X and Y were just underwhelming for yourself. For Masters, you like Red's new look? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I six-star EX'd Red. And the fact that he's got, like... So, I think, uh... I think they said that they designed the characters as though they weren't very fashionable. Like, on purpose. They, they wanted them to look like nerds. And you can see that with Pokemon Masters Red, because he's got the, uh, the pants with the fire streak on them. <laughs> and, like, no one in their right mind who's concerned with fashion would wear that. Not dissing the character at all, but, like, I, I love how they kept up with that, I guess, statement. Still can't play Masters? Uh, have you... Hmm. Yeah, because I guess your emulator just doesn't like it, does it? I will say, though, the, uh, the pull rate really sucks. I've got really stupid 
dumb luck. So, I don't count, but, like, you don't get... Like, you have a 3% chance of pulling a 5-star, but you don't have increased chances when you're doing a 10-pull. So you can literally get, like, all, like, bronze units. Also, I should probably teach somebody Flash. Haven't tried on blue stacks? Blue stacks might be... That's... Okay, hold up. Because I'm not teaching Pikachu Flash. I don't want him to know any TM besides maybe Surf. Actually, that's a good question. Hey Google, how do you get the Surfing Pikachu minigame on Pokemon Stadium? Okay, so Surfing Pikachu is endgame. Good to know. Ah, right, I was gonna swap out something. Because I think. I gotta deposit someone. Um. I mean, I guess rest in peace, Need Arena. At least for now. This isn't Sayonara, it's Matane. Alright, then, if I use an HM5 on my Magnemite. then Pikachu won't have to learn it. <laughs> Remember when Flash was an HM? Remember when we had HMs? I, I really appreciate just not having HMs anymore. What time is the Felix stream? Uh, it's gonna be about... I wanna say like 5.30 or 6 p.m. Pacific? Ready to die a lot tonight. Hey, I'm not the one who's going to be playing, is the thing. It's going to be Felix playing, and then me regulating the chat. Also, just a heads up, I'm turning off some of the options for chat. It'll be longer than usual? We'll see. I can't guarantee that. Uh, it'll run until whenever Felix needs to go. But yeah, I'm going to be turning off some of the Shark Coin Redemptions. I'm going to be limiting it to just uh, highlighting messages and unlocking emotes. And Hydrate. Thanks for the Hydrate, by the way. And even Hydrate I'm kind of shaky on, because I don't know what kind of traffic having Felix on is going to actually do. You know, if I have like 30 people in chat telling me to Hydrate, then that might end up becoming a problem. Oh, time to get up to rock and get up to move. I'm going to put that down gently. Take a sip. Oh, take a lot of sips. Take a lot of sips. Holy shit. Okay. In that case, I'm finishing this tea because it'll take about five sips. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> and now time to get up to rock and get up to move. I'll be honest, RDF was an absolute genius for suggesting this one. Because I really should be getting up and stretching during the stream. And it's nice of you guys to, like, look out for my health.
Especially with playing video games, because, uh, you know, I, I draw, so if I get Carpal Tunnel, my career is done. Mind you, I'm getting into, uh, voice acting now, so that might be less of an issue in the future. So while I'm, uh, while I'm stretching, what are, uh, what are you guys' plans for the weekend? Now do 20 push-ups? Oh man. Also, how's it going, Trevor? Glad that you're here. Gotta do those vocal exercises too? Yeah. God, when I when I was doing the uh the cover for colors for the Guilty Gear Strive. Sorry, for the Guilty Gear cover album. Also, thanks for redeeming uh the get up to rock get up to move justifies. I should probably turn this down. There we go. You're available to watch the stream, so you did. Good choice. Uh, personally, I would have done something else, but uh, you do you. Just kidding. I'm glad to have you here. But yeah, like when I was doing the uh, the cover for Colors for the Guilty Year cover album, it was a uh, it was a lot. I. I'm glad that I didn't have anything to do for the next two days, because my voice was shot. And I still have to do more takes. <coughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. The endeavor of both getting back to your console games when you uh, when you get out of habit, even if you like it, it's hard to get back in. Plus, there's your anxiety and traditional fear. Uh, sorry, irrational fear. Mm -hmm. The slowpoke is indecently shoving its butt at us. I believe that's called presenting. It's like that weird Yoshi pose where he lifts up his tail and then looks uh, behind his back at you. And it's like, what what the hell? <laughs> Dingo casting hideous laughter on a T-Rex and a purple worm. You know. I, I legitimately think I wasn't part of that campaign, so. <laughs> I, I don't know the context of that either. That might have been with uh, her character Cooper. Right, I only picked up lame potions. Uh oh. Second is trying to stay up from when you officially woke up and staying that way till at least 9 p.m. Trying to fix your uh, sleep schedule. Mm, sorry. More power to you, buddy. That it's a daunting task, and I can't, I can't even sugarcoat it. It is not easy to fix your sleep schedule at all. But I hope you manage. Do what I could not. Man, now that I'm thinking of it, I'm really uh, proud of that cover of Colors that I did. Like, so far, with how I'm working on it. It's such a step up from the Ska cover album. That it, it's just crazy. Bitch of a... Oh, you have sleep apnea. Oh, boy. The Josh... Wait, the Josh fight actually happened? Josh's showed up? 
Who gets to keep their name? I mean, probably Josh Swain, but still. Oh, hey, I'm... it's time for me to sing a thing. Also, how's it going, Ashton Hunter? Glad you can make it. Um. How about... What's a good song to sing right now? I could probably do something from the Guilty Gear cover album. Or... I could do something mainstream. Like, uh... When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? He said, will you defeat them, your demons, and all the non-believers, the plans that they have made? Because one day I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the Black Parade. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken? The beaten and the damned. Sometimes I get the feeling she's watching over me. And other times I feel like I should go. When through it all the rise and fall, the bodies in the streets. And when you're gone, we want you all to know. We'll carry on, we'll carry on. And though you're dead and gone, believe me, your memory will carry on, will carry on. And in my heart, I can't contain it. And the anthem won't explain it. A world that sends you reeling from decimated dreams. Your misery and hate will kill us all. So paint it black and take it back. Let's shout it loud and clear. Defiant to the end, we hear the call. To carry on, we'll carry on. And though you're dead and gone, believe me, your memory will carry on, we'll carry on. And though you're broken and defeated, your weary widow marches on. Unfortunately, I don't think I remember all of like the do, do or die part, so I'm gonna have to stop it there. Thanks for the uh, the sing a thing, Ashen Hunter. Dozens of Josh's battled in a field in Lincoln, Nebraska, to deter uh, determine the one true Josh. Dang. Thought that was just a goof. Oh man, Gen 1 Bulbasaur is like... Disgruntled. Like, like that Bulbasaur is non-plus right now. They didn't do the Area 51 suicide run? Yep. The world's changed since 2018-2019, yeah. Area 51 was for the memes and people didn't actually want to get shot. White House was a bunch of white supremacists trying to keep annoying the orange in office, yeah. Honestly, like, different motivations can equal different results, so. That was one angry cabbage, absolutely. I don't have a poison cure on me, do I? Bulbasaur, eat a Snickers. Yep. Just gonna have to deal with this.
Okay, guys, so for the rest of the rock tunnel, the uh, screen's gonna be flashing until Charmeleon dies. It's unfortunate, but that's how it's gonna go. Because I poorly prepared. Fucking excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. Do you know about costume players? A lot of my plebe uh, plebeian friends call them cosplayers. But I know the truth. That they're costume players. God damn. Can't wait for your D&D character to be finished. The artist is doing pretty great work for the time she's put into it. That's great. Like, I, I don't commission artists very often, because it, it feels weird commissioning somebody to draw something for me, and then also I have the skills to do it myself. Uh, but Effie Arts on Twitter, uh, I highly recommend you give them a follow. Uh, they did my Phantom Thief Luna uh, just astound astoundingly. Like... Oh my god, I, I absolutely love how it turned out. You know in the Let's Go games, I'm glad they finally gave Red a new team. Mm-hmm. No, I, I really appreciate when they, like, actually advance characters. <laughs> the Galarian Fossil Pokemon weren't Rock-type. Yeah, well, and I also love the idea that, you know, back in old, old England, uh, when they found fossils, they just sort of slapped together whatever they found and sort of justified it afterwards. And that's the route that they went with fossils, so... It's great. And they made green cannon. Mm-hmm. Yep, Alola is absolutely canon. Let's uh, let's go as well. You can find the fairy type trial captain from Million City after the SSN. Hmm. I didn't know that. I'll have to go back and play. Uh. Like, replay, let's go. Having every location be X City or Y Town? Mm hmm. She's like, oh, I missed the boat. I also really appreciated, like, the, uh, the Kanto Gym in, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's like, yeah, man, like, this is the way that they do gyms in Kanto, it's a tourist attraction. I live in Lake Charles, not Lake City or Charlestown. <laughs> when are they gonna make a Pokemon game set in Canada? I I don't see that going well. A, a Canadian Pokemon game. <laughs> would be boring and lame. It's like, oh man, you gotta go to the Prince Edward Island gym. It's got nothing. Except for, like, a book about Anne of Green Gables. Wanna go to the Alberta gym? It's got oil. The oil-type Pokemon. There are no fossils in the uh, Canadian Pokemon region. It's just, they've all turned to oil. Nobody would battle each other because everyone's too polite to fight. Every gym is in a hockey rink. Absolutely. Alright, I could fight this guy. Or I could move on. I think I'm going to fight him. I need EXP. If I 
have a swaying vote, would I rather have Atlas develop Persona 6 or a Persona 3 remake? Hmm. I'm gonna hold that thought for a second. Look at Machop's arm. That's like... I I'm trying to... It, it, it's like he's got a tiny a thing that's attaching his arm, then just like bulging muscle. Like, it, it feels like he skipped tricep day <laughs> in every single workout. He ate his... yeah. Um... It's a tumor. It's that thing in Shin Megami Tensei 4 on Lucifer's arm where, like, in his second form it hatches to a gremlin thing. Um... But I think... I think I prefer Persona 6. Uh, if they... If, like, they only have one team that's allowed to develop it. Because while Persona 3 deserves a remake, I really feel like just moving forward in the series is kind of essential. That being said, if they had a different team working on the Persona 3 remake so that they had more time to make Persona 6, I would prefer that outcome. I, I would always choose giving the uh, main series more development time by releasing a remake in between to tie people over. Evolution Pokemon. Cat, bigger cat, biggest cat. Evolution Digimon. Cat, pterodactyl, fridge with minigun. Evolution real life, T-Rex chicken. Yep. They need a Persona 5 arena. But we got Persona 5 dancing. What's there to worry about? At the very least, I think that they should introduce Persona 5 in a... Sorry, my brain is blanking. In a cross-tag battle. And yeah, I absolutely... I'm loving Persona 5 Scramble. You would love to see older Persona 4 cast members? Honestly, I'd like just a crossover... Like... A main series style Persona game with the crossover ambition of uh, Persona Q. So like you get to see everyone grown up uh, in the future as adults and that's your cast. Kind of like a Persona All-Stars. I love Persona Q2, is what I would say if I had it! I know the feeling, I missed out on Persona Q as well. Persona Q Joker calls the P4 protagonist Big Bro and I love it. Aw oh, man. Persona Q also made uh, Minako, the female Persona 3 protagonist, canon. Which I, I absolutely loved. Actually, we're gonna keep Sand Slash. I have a feeling he can hold his own against Geo, dude. I stand corrected. Alright, well, we'll bring out the boy. Stumbled upon Persona Q on Pure Lock. Oh man, I, uh. I got it day one. Persona Q2, though, was a bit harder to find for me, so I wasn't able to grab it. As soon as they announced Persona Q and had that, like, absolute bop of a theme song that went like, This carousel takes us round and round. Like, God, that was great. Yeah, we'll, we'll ditch tackle and get bite. 
Love Scramble for the fact that they did it. They finally let your boy say fuck. Yep! They have the original Guilty Gear on Switch, but none of the games in between. Yeah, so uh, on Switch they have Guilty Gear and then Guilty Gear XX Accent Core plus R. Um, but they don't have X and they don't have Iska. And I think that's because they just didn't do well, comparatively. Like, I, I would have thought that they would only put XX Accent Core plus R on Switch. I didn't even think that they would add the original Guilty Gear. Road Less Taken is because of Lotus Juice? Oh, yeah. Well, and, like, don't they have that, uh, that battle theme with Lotus Juice that goes like, Don't you say that I didn't, didn't give you a chance, just to listen, only one out, but she's just kept that garbage talk, so no blessings. I don't know the entire song, but, uh, I do know, like, the first part of it, up to the, uh, end of the first chorus. Do you know I haven't played it? Aw. Oh. That's fair. There's also a section where, uh... You go on... Because you know in Persona 4 they open that dating cafe? Uh, and that sort of leeches into the Persona Q world. And there's a section where you and another character get married. And just everyone's reactions to it. Like, they they have they did one of those sections for every character in Persona 2 and Persona... Th sorry. In Persona 3 and Persona 4. It was great. I think you can even get married to Teddy, but it's been a while, so I'm not 100% sure. They kept the darker and creepy aspects of Persona in the Q opening, with the torn bunny and the cotton as blood in the sequence there. Mm-hmm. No, I would have liked Persona Q a lot more if I were into the uh, Etrian Odyssey dungeon crawler. I just don't think that it's my kind of game, but the fact that it was Persona kind of carried me through it. I guess I had to carry the bride because she's too heavy for anyone to pick up, being made of metal. Mm-hmm. Man, Charmeleon. Even with poison, he's surviving, like, really, really well. Alright, well, now that we have a war turtle, you're gonna see a lot of him, and I'm gonna have to press B a lot when he tries to evolve. God damn. You do, please. Just let me pass. Persona 4 Ultimax also had a uh, really, really good theme. It was called Breakout of, that had uh, whoever sings the Persona 4 theme songs in Lotus Juice in it. Yeah, because Gen 1 never had the Everstone. Yeah. And, like, you know, when I was playing. Pokemon Blue on my friend's Game Boy as a kid, like, every time Wartortle tried to evolve, I was like, uh-uh. Nuh-uh. If your Pokemon didn't want to evolve, I'd respect it like Ash did with Bulbasaur. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. In a real-life scenario, like, if my Wartortle wanted to become a Blastoise, I'd be like, you know what? I'm happy for you. You, you do whatever. But, like, 
Chances are we'd be good enough friends where War Turtle would feel bad for it, and I'd be like, no, don't do it, do it, what, do what you want, buddy. Actually, here's a fun question. What would your six Pokemon team be? Uh, just in terms of, like, Pokemon you like, not necessarily power. So, like, you get six Pokemon that you can take on an adventure with you. Uh, don't worry about, you know, stats or competitive aspects, just... Who would you want to go on a on a fun Pokemon quest with? Ah, oh, fair enough, justifies. I'll also even say that you're allowed legendary and mythical Pokemon. Because if that one guy in Sinnoh was allowed to have a Latios, then I'm allowed to. Well, and that's the thing, Justifies, like... You don't need to have a, uh, traditional starter. Bulbasaur, Mightyena! Dusk Lycanroc, Swallow, Eevee, and then you limit yourself to one mythical Pokemon in that Zero Aura. Ah, oh, fair enough. No Legends, maybe some small mythical? Again, that's up to you. Who am I to say that you don't trip over a Shaman and then become best friends? Or like Latias changes into a cute girl and follows you. Because I'm going to be completely honest, my my red jet dragon is, uh, coming with me. Because I think, just off the top of my head, I would probably go with, uh... Yeah. Wartortle? Dragonite? Gudra? Sylveon? Latias? And then, I think maybe, uh... Maybe, like, Galarian Rapidash. That sixth slot is, like, a non-committal one, you know? Because, like, I could also fill that slot with Zoroark. I could fill it with, uh... I don't know. Nickit. I could fill it with Ninetales. I could fill it with a, a lowland sand slash. No Pokeballs makes actually no sense because it's far more reasonable and safe for both people and Pokemon to be in a Pokeball. Yeah. Well, you like Detective Pikachu having it where there were no Poke. Oh, right. Sorry, that's a. <laughs> Your second comment was a continuation of the first. Who would have thought? Why lock a Charizard in a cage when you can have him comfy in a Pokeball? That's fair. I'm gonna use Pikachu against Meowth because that's what happens in the anime. Pikachu also knows how to punch Meowth in the stupid face. feel you, lady. I completely agree with you that I want to go home, too. I am running out of potions. I don't even have the good potions. 
I have like one max potion that I'm saving for later because I need it for later. <laughs> Sorry, War Turtle. Pikachu needs it more than you. Charmeleon, I've I've completely accepted the fact that he's gonna faint. I feel bad about it, but he is he is gone. Even within the Digimon games, like Cyber Sleuth, they make a canon that the Tamers, as they would technically be, have three Digimon. Discounting how in gameplay you can carry eleven on you. Mm -hmm. What kind of person would choose to partner with Nanimon? Well, like, you you go up to your Digimon and be like, Hey man, why don't you just use, like, fucking Poop Dunk? I, I don't think that I would be friends with the person who would choose Nanimon. For the player characters within the manga, the starter Digimon are considered their canon 3. Okay. Nanimon is the round uh, athletic one. Yep, the one with a uh, armpit hair, a goatee. Oh no, no justifies. I have a picture somewhere that shows that Nanimon learns poop dunk as he levels up. I'm gonna find it. Give me a sec. I'm dying on this hill. First I gotta find it though, jeez. God. The shitty part is, I posted it on Facebook. And Facebook has the absolute worst way of, uh, organizing photos. Posted on Twitter. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to try and find it after the stream. And I'll post it in the uh, Discord. But I know that Nanimon does some weird shit, man. Literally. They're exploring in the anime the concept from the game of divergent digivolution paths, not just dark digivolution. That's cool. I think I'd really enjoy them just making a, a Cyber Sleuth anime. Oh hey, thanks for the Hydrate Ashen Hunter. Can drink my Japanese canned coffee. Hardcore Digimon fan and neck deep in its lore. While each series and entry may vary on their continuity, I believe successfully created what I dub the Lore World Prime for which everything fits. That's cool. 
Digital world, there exists God, not Godmon, or like that, but God. Okay. I'm kind of... I'm kind of salty that they called it King Dr uh, Drassel instead of just going straight with uh, Yggdrasil. Not not the god of the world, but like the uh, the world tree Digimon. Um, excuse me. That's gonna cost you a punch to the face. Oh no, I missed the punch to the face. This is the worst timeline. There are a handful of Digimon life forms that are not Digimon. Like, like Jedi, right? Isn't Jedi a digital life form? Okay, good. It's not disabled. Oh, good job, Pikachu. That crit was uh, was mm, it was Chef's kiss. Well, obviously, I gotta swap out Thundershock with Thunderbolt. Alright, Slowpoke, you're gonna feel the natural evolution of this. Destroyed. We haven't got a definitive explanation of what the hell Jedi or his allies are. But in Try, it's stated that though he may look like young Jedi, the dark clothed one is not him and is something else. Okay. Yeah, I was always confused by Jedi just being this dude who lived in the digital world. Just hanging out, giving kids advice. I don't have enough health to fight. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna snake around you two. Fine, friends. I, I'm sure you are waiting for a challenge. And I appreciate that. But I cannot give you the challenge that you deserve. So. Here we are. Most prevalent fan theory is that they were... Early humans who accidentally wandered into the digital world and due to time differences became pseudo beings? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to actually fight her, aren't I? I'm just trying to conserve my HP. I was woefully underprepared for this rock tunnel. You know, you have a name like Rock Tunnel, and you think, oh, it's just gonna be like our walk. I'm. A a nice jaunt through, and then you see Mount Moon, and it's like, oh, well, fuck, I gotta go through a mountain. But Mount Moon was a lot easier than Rock Tunnel. <laughs> In terms of, like, the twisty paths. I kind of appreciate how sassy Gen 1 Meowth looks. Like, he, he's got that, that W face with the crossed arms, kicking the dirt a bit, like... I... I appreciate Gen 1 Meowth. Alright, Wartortle bites face off. Digimon God exists in his kernel, and only he really speaks to one orphan rank Digimon, but they sent the three celestial angels, Seraphimon, Irfanimon, and Cherubimon, to administer his laws, love, and punishment. Okay. Alright, Charmeleon. With your dying breath, take care of this uh, this Oddich. I almost said Ostrich. That's a different Pokemon entirely.
That wasn't enough, Charmili. No, Oddish, don't take his 1 HP. He needs that to live. Oh, no. Alright, Pikachu. Punch Oddish. Basically has two administrators, Yggdrasil and Homeostasis. The being that once possessed Kairi. Ah, uh, sorry, Kari. Okay. God, you know I've been playing too much uh, Kingdom Hearts when I read Kari as Kairi. Oh, that was a dick move, Pidgey. You are out of Pokemon. Like I almost am. No, well, I mean, thanks for that first half, but, uh, fuck you for that second half. Kari's VA, Larry J. Miller, voices Chirithi, who is a being of light. So perfect casting. Yeah. No, straight up, I, uh... <laughs> I tweeted about that, and then, uh, Larry... <laughs> she, she responded to me on Twitter. <laughs> Like, uh, let, let's see if I can find what exactly I said. Yeah, so I, I tweeted out, like, I'm watching this story so far since I only played the Kingdom Hearts spin-off uh, spin titles, and Kari from Digimon goes and asks me, do you remember this story? And I'm like, no, I don't, but I remember the time you ditched Ty when he was fighting Diaboromon. And yeah, she liked my tweet. Which was very cash money of her. The director of Scarlet Nexus also liked my tweet about Scarlet Nexus, so that was nice. Wait, is this... Which one's the exit? <laughs> She's at her friend's birthday, giving her a pink Power Ranger. Yeah, I, I get how that's important. Who am I to judge? But I will. I will absolutely judge. God damn it, lady! Please, just let my Pokemon rest. I can't afford to be sent back to the beginning of the rock tunnel. Children's War game was pretty damn crazy. Diablo, uh, Diablo, blah, blah. Diablo Mon was no joke. He was ready to freaking nuke Ty and Izzy when they were bothering him. Yeah. I'm glad that uh, Hosoda had practice for Summer Wars. He worldwide messed up the pricing for goods, so the next couple of years must have been chaos. Mm hmm. Sand Slash, please carry me home. Even though you're ground type, Sand Slash, you are my rock. Sand Slash, please just hit. You've got sand in your eyes, but that's literally in your name! You should be immune! Okay, I'm not making that mistake. Nice! <coughs> Sorry. It was dub only, but he loved it when Ty repeatedly tried using the phone, and he ended up with the same provider, and the last time she screamed at them. Absolutely! 
I, I think that's something that I prefer that dubs do, is just insert their own stuff. No, I don't! I want to go to the Pokemon Center and heal mine up, please! Could you do me this kindness? Pokemaniac, there's a reason that your only friends are Pokemon. If you're gonna be doing dick shit like this. Oh, I would not like to join the Bone Club, thank you. What a period piece that movie was. Absolutely. No, I, I re-watch uh, the Digimon movie, and, like, it it flings me back in time. My, my very essence is brought back to the early 2000s and late 90s. Is he had to get a separate device the size of an early 90s cell phone to give wireless signal? Yeah! Well, and, like, the concept of phone tag is completely lost now. Like, like they try to explain having to uh, leave a message on the answering machine between two different parties as just, like, phone tag. But no kid now would know what that is. What do you have to say for yourself? You don't like me for beating? I don't like you for standing in my way trying to get my friends alive again. Had the Saban Digimon movie in both VHS and digital form, but you watched the second movie alone? Mm hmm. Ty causing a blue screen of death and nearly killing the, uh, his Digimon since, no joke, they were dependent on the power of his internet connection. Mm hmm. Like, the, the dub of those three movies that the Digimon movie is based on, absolutely butchered, but it's still really good. In the context of it being an adaptation of three Digimon movies, I'd say it falls incredibly short. But as, like, an entertaining movie about Digimon, it, it's like magic. And the soundtrack is amazing, too. Yep. I'm sorry your mother had to die, Cuba. Wonder Grand Prize. What's up, Pikachu? Aw, oh, he's happy. Is it giving Omega Mon the win by spamming Diablo Mon with emails to slow him down was enough to make it? Mm-hmm. Just the absolute line of Izzy in action shot, pressing his finger down on a key, just saying, like, You've got mail! Like, I don't think that's... I don't think that would translate as well. In today's world. Actually, I should probably say... Okay. Let's go in the spooky ghost tower. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen here. In Sepia Town. Well, it's not quite Sepia Town. It's like original Game Boy palette.
Diablomon was so liked, he got a sequel. Mm hmm. Oh, Pikachu's not feeling it. In Zero Two, Revenge of Diablomon, and Last Evolution, I was so disappointed that we never saw Megamon and Imperial Dramon team up proper to fight. I never watched Last Evolution, so I don't. Uh, I couldn't know, I'm afraid. All I heard was, like, the director left because it, it was not what he had intended. Kids demanding you take them to the park, afraid of the big one, but so uh, but the little one bites, so gotta go. I'll catch you later, Trevor. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm probably gonna be finishing up pretty soon, too. I got, like, four minutes. I gotta prepare for the next stream, too. I'm a rambling, gambling dude! Yeah, that's why I'm glad that, uh, my sister lives in L.A., so... Every time I want to visit my niece, all I have to do is bring her to, uh, Disneyland. Mind you, then I have to deal with a kid on a bus to Disneyland. At, like, 5 a.m. Oh, hey, thanks for the hydrate, Ashen Hunter. What do you have to say for yourself? Gambling and Pokemon are like eating peanuts. Just can't stop. This man has a peanut problem. Whoops. Actually. That's something I should take a look at. Because if cut is better than slash... I don't think it's going to tell me. Hold up. Even as a Vulpix, it still has nine tails? Doesn't, uh, doesn't a Vulpix only have six? I thought for some reason Vulpix only had six tails. Maybe they're just grouped... No, in all the pictures I'm looking at, it only has six. Actually, you know what? Oh, and the curls on its head, right. I completely forgot about those. No, because I... Wow, this is as bright as the sun. Um, there we go. I've got a, a little full pix figure. So, I have a frame of reference. Alright, well, I guess I'll figure out Slash and Cut later. Because... It's the end of the stream! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for the uh, Saturday morning stream. Well, morning-ish. The, the Saturday retro stream. I can't call it morning anymore because I don't do it in the morning. Uh... Get hyped for the uh, stream with Felix later tonight. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be around, yeah, 5.30 to 6 p.m. Pacific. So, uh, yeah, we'll be playing some Demon Souls. I don't know what the traffic's going to be like, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to be disabling some of the Shark Coin Redemption. Uh, 
I'm going to be limiting it to unlocking emotes, modifying emotes, and highlighting messages until I see what the uh, volume of people is like. So if, if we have like a lower amount of people, then maybe I'll re-enable some of them. But uh, if there's a lot, then I want to be able to manage it. I also have uh, Andy and Aaron possibly popping by to help with moderation too, so... I just, I, I've i never had somebody else on the stream before, like, aside from my friends who don't stream. So it's going to be different. Having somebody who's, like, kind of known might, uh, might be a different vibe. Ah, uh, but aside from that, I guess I'll catch you guys in a couple hours. Catch you later.